Hello and welcome back to Tiny Artist TV. Classic style. We are finished with the November color palette challenge live streams, and I, I do still have a couple characters that I need to touch up from that series, but the live streams are over. We're going back to classic videos, just sped up voiceover, chill style. Um, but we're not quite done with the color palette challenge as a whole, so I have my little bag of numbers here. And on this chart, I have updated the numbering system. We have one through 41. So there are 41 color palettes left. So each number in this bag is one through 41. I figured that this would be a little more fun, a little more festive, and also uh, would lessen the chance of me getting a duplicate because everyone's only in here once. If I use the random shuffler, we're gonna be here forever. So I'm gonna go ahead, each video is going to contain two characters with the last day containing the last three color palettes um, of the series. So I'm looking to finish this up by the 20th. Well now, you know what, actually I think that ends up, I'm gonna do three characters per video. Um, and uh, gonna go ahead and shake my little bag up. Very small, so there's not a lot of room for these things to shuffle, but I do see them moving. Alright, our first number, number 39, can't, <laughs> can't really see that, 39, um, so that is Acid Rain, and I will mark these in red, since all these are in green, keeping it a little festive, I'll mark these in red, so let's go with like a soft candy cane red, maybe a little softer than that, maybe I'll use pink, no, this is fine, this is fine, um, alright, so number two, oh, we have a volunteer's tribute flew right out of the bag. Number one. See, that's proof that these are moving around because when I put these in the bag, they, of course, the lower numbers were all the way at the bottom, higher numbers at the top. So we have one from each side. So this bag is getting properly shuffled. So we'll go ahead and mark that in reddish, pink, whatever. All right. And last one for the first video and today's series or I guess this month's series number 36 so that is kiss of death so we have acid rain basilisk and kiss of death all right um I am also going to be using my um randomizer to generate what type of character this is going to be so um yeah I will edit that into I'll have it on my drawing page as I'm doing it so let's go ahead and get started with today's drawings for character number one with the color palette acid rain as you can see with my prompts on screen um, the characters caregiver was a fool uh, their motivation is to write a book their secret is that they have a twin and their special skill is shape-shifting and this character's outfit is lace socks with wooden jewelry detail and um, Now not all of these characters are gonna be like holiday oriented But considering that this character's caregiver was a fool. I felt that having some sort of jester-esque type clothing would be appropriate so that kind of Jester and elf clothing are stylistically very similar, so I thought maybe this character could be a sugar plum fairy type character, you know, a little mischievous, but still like sort of cute and fun, and they're writing their tell-all memoir about the behind the stage happenings of what happened during the production of the Nutcracker. Um, and how maybe the play isn't a fully accurate depiction of the goings-on, but maybe, you know, that's just extra, extra detail. Um, but yeah, so this character is going to be a Sugar Plum Fairy coded. I don't know how accurate that's going to be to some people's mental depictions of it, but that's the goal here. Especially considering that there's a lot of pink and purple in this color palette. And I wanted to give this character green eyes to really have a pop of color in there. So yeah, that's what I'm going with for character number one, which is character number 75 at this point in the color palette challenge character creation lineup.
character number two or character number 76 um is sort of giving uh cindy lou who in an alternate universe like maybe cindy lou who who was raised by the grinch and i say that because the colors while there is like you know the red and green the green isn't quite a grinchy green but there's enough here to work with to kind of push that idea um she was raised by an aristocrat now granted the grinch wasn't anybody rich but if you've seen the i believe it's the jim carrey version um there were there was a little bit of like class disparity with the uh the who's so maybe she was raised by one of the more well-to-do who's um but she likes to steal but because she's so cute um that ties into the charisma the charismatic feature of this particular character and a lot of them do wear shorter dresses and skirts with usually like the striped Christmassy tights so I could get away with doing that sort of feature. The only thing I was really kind of hung up on was the skirt has a peak. What? <laughs> so uh, to uh, remedy that I put the peaks out on the side to have sort of this like whimsical like they they all dress very whimsical so the the skirt has sort of like a shelf type peak feature um with hiding very deep pockets of course so this is sort of a grinchified version of cindy lou who um that i'm going with for character number two in today's video Our final character in today's video, character number 77, um, is I'm working with the color palette Kiss of Death. And this character, as you can see, the color palette is very monochromatic, but it is still very like sort of cold and icy, a little sad. And the character was raised by a blacksmith. Um, they're in love with the monster. Their motivation is to get well, but they have an insensitivity to pain. Um, but just kind of begging the question, how do they know? Well, I guess you don't have to feel pain to know that you're sick, but anyway, um, I decided to make this character something of sort of, um, I don't know, I, I guess you can't technically blend Azimars and Tieflings since they come from two completely different ancestries, but I wanted to make a more sort of ethereal looking Tiefling character, um, more so driven by the outfit that um they're wearing so they're wearing a silk pullover which is a silk hoodie but i wanted to kind of give it a more um decorative look and it's covered with gemstones so with the colors that i have i had a choice to either make these gemstones diamonds or onyx and so i went with onyx because i wanted to make the skin tone the sort of more icy grays and whites and then i also wanted to give her black eyes um sort of to really draw you into the face i've also been watching a lot of face off reruns so i'm kind of inspired by the characters that they've been designing there um with the ethereal challenges and things like that so to just have these really like sad jet black eyes it also kind of mimics the black gemstones that are on her outfit and then the detail and the other two you may have noticed that i crossed out the color because the color is irrelevant the detail is striped and so i just gave her some simple striped tights even though the pullover itself was supposed to have stripes on it i decided to give that more of a chevron look instead to sort of keep the elevated look of everything and she's just the sort of kind of 
icy tiefling who lives off in the mountains. Maybe she's in love with the Yeti or something or some sort of um, ice genasi or uh, elemental of that sort. Even though I guess elementals aren't technically monsters, but in love with a non-humanoid creature. So that is character number three for today's video. Um, yeah, that is, uh, what, did I, what did I say? It was 77? Yeah, so I've done characters 75, 6, and 7 for today's video. So we'll come back tomorrow for three more characters. May or may not be winter Christmassy themed. I'll try to keep them Christmassy themed just because it's, it's, it's a fun addition to the challenge. And I think it keeps in line with this time of year, even though where I'm living, it is definitely not snowing. As a matter of fact, as of me recording it, it's about 70 degrees outside in December. Hate that. Um, but anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you have enjoyed this continuation of the color palette challenge character creation challenge videos. Uh, let me know down in the comments um, if you are drawing along, what color palette you would have treated differently, or uh, what your favorite character was. And again, I don't really name these characters, so if you want to drop names in the comments, that's also fine. But anyway, yes, that is all I have for you guys today. So I will see you in the next video. Until then, have a weird day.